All right, welcome back to another episode of Banished with your host, Midnight. And let's see here. I should have loaded the game first. That would have been nice. You know, last game we did, we did... Um, I tried to do a live stream. And yeah, that was kind of interesting. I think I found um, some technical difficulties in that. So when you watch the video, you're going to notice you hear like a slight echo. And then also the, the quality of the video didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. So... I don't know. I think I need to make some adjustments for that before I continue on doing um, some live stream stuff. But anyways, this is where we're at. We're If you watch the live stream, I just got done putting down a mine and a quarry. Um, and uh, my population is looking pretty good. We're at 35, um, two students and 14 kids. And food is, is looking all right. I'm building a tavern down here because I want people to be happy. Um, but then I think what I want to do is um, start building some housing out this way and start bringing down some farming, put some storage and then put some farming down here. I need to put some orchards in too, so maybe this is where my orchards will go. And we, so we're just going to continue to keep sp expanding out here. Remember what I have it on 10 times. We knock it down a little bit, wait for it to calm down some. So I've got some laborers, which is nice. It's nice to have a little bit of laborers. We're getting into spring, so they're just starting. People are just starting to plant. And I've got two people working these farms, which have seemed to turn out okay. I, the last couple years, I've had some really good bumper crops. I put in this extra storage over here because I was needing it. And one of the main reasons I put in this um, tavern, besides the happiness, was because I have a ton of berries. So I want to make sure that I'm using those berries up. But otherwise, our main staple has been um, beans. <laughs> Probably everybody's tired of beans. Uh, but otherwise, we're doing okay. These leghorns, they're getting to the point where uh, they're going to start overflowing. So it's going to be interesting to see. Maybe next year when the trade comes in. Let's see what I got. So I'm going to pause this here real quick. Yeah, all he's got is iron tools. Um... Yeah, while that is not the best in the world, let's let's put down. I think let's put down one, and then try to maybe get all their iron tools. Yeah, that'll work. This is not all of them, but this is most I want to sacrifice. So it uh, iron tools, they're good. It's good to have a little bit of extra tools. At least I'm I'm not worried about having to produce more. So we've got somebody in the tavern here. Let's see. Let's let's put a guy to work and let's have him making berry ale. Five hundred is kind of excessive. Um, maybe drop that down to two hundred. Okay, and this builder, I don't need this builder anymore. Alright, so yeah, so the beans have been working out really well. I, you can see it's only late spring and I'm I'm already almost full. I mean, my yield is really good. So they've been doing okay. So let's let's start looking down here. I You know, I'm, I'm hoping that I get a, some more livestock. I really want cows so I can get the dairy going and milk and butter going maybe if I put a pasture down there so I'm gonna put down some stuff but then I'm not gonna do anything with it um, first of all let's let's do this let's stop and put in some roads really quick here put in a road on this side can I put in a road over here I think I was saving this spot I was thinking maybe I would have it for um, some more fishing, but I, I don't know that I need any more fishing. I think I'm doing okay. Let's look at another pasture right here. I want to get ready just in case I do get some livestock. Let's see if I go over one. Yeah. So let's do decent sized pasture. This will be a pasture for cows. Uh, 
if I ever get any cows, and let's just pause this. Because I really don't have the lumber to be doing this, to be messing around with this. I do have one well in there. I made this kind of, you know, useless space. Probably. You know what I could do? I could put storage right there. Let's do that. Let's put a storage there so we're not wasting that space. And I should have... Actually, let's get rid of this building. Oops. Wrong button. Let's cancel the building. Let me take this road out. Some a little bit square here. There we go. And let's put in... How big is that storage? It's going to be too small. I'm thinking I put a, a road, take this road, extend this road, and then have a little storage here. But I don't know if that's going to work very well. I mean, this storage is not being used as much as I want it to be used. But that's okay. We can get rid of that later. And this is just kind of a filler, you know. I don't have anything else to stick down in there for a filler. Let's see. Is that going to be too small? Eh, yeah, too small. Okay, let's not worry about it. Let's fill it in with road then. Not optimal, but... So be it. Make it a little bit square. A place for people to hang out after the... After having a beer or two. Alright, let's make my pasture off this way. A nice big pasture. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Let's uh let's put a road next to that too. Let our road come out as far as we can. And we'll wrap that. There we go. Let's pause this building. Alright, um Starting to think. I've got storage on that side. I've got four storage on that side. Let's do some. Where do I want this storage? Maybe we can spread this storage out. So let's take this storage barn. Drop it in right here. I mean, this storage barn is pretty big. Let's wrap that around with a road to maybe square this up a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. So let's put some pastures out, or uh, some not pastures, but let's put some orchards out here. What's the size of my farm? 9 by 14? What's a 9 by 14 orchard going to look like? Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's make my orchards 9 by 16. Let's have three of them. here. Good. That's going to leave uh, room for housing and stuff. I, I think that's going to be okay. Good. This will give me... Not only will it give me some food, but it's also going to give me wood because you have to wind up replanting orchards. Let's pause this. I don't have people to work this. So let's leave that. I think when I do want people to work it. Let's see, what do I want? Maybe some, yeah, some cherry wood and apple wood. Hmm. Pause this one. 
Nobody's going to be working those. We've got one storage here. I'm going to want some housing around this. Let's let's put the housing maybe around this side. I, I need a place for a market too. Let's look at the market. Yeah, market's freaking big. That almost gets everybody too. She should have planned the market a little bit better, huh? The market would be better like right in the middle of this town. Maybe I can do that, uh, but uh, that would take some time. So how about I put the market down there? I think I'm, I am gonna do that. So what I'll do is I'll wind up clearing out this area, moving these houses and putting that market in there right there in the center so let's worry about getting other housing and stuff taken care of can i put a house over here Did i rotate it maybe nope just hoping to use that little space so that's locked that's i think that's is that firewood or is that log? That's firewood. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's everybody go. Since I'm pausing all this work anyways. Um, let's see. If this turns out to be cows, I want to have a creamery slaughterhouse close by oops I didn't want you to build that no just use up some logs you can pause thank you yeah I think probably a slaughterhouse is going to be over here let's pause this put a creamery over here as well For a road. Pause that. I don't know what you need to use for the honeys. I don't. I guess he keeps the honey. Let's put that there too. And pause that. Good. This will leave me some room to build around here for housing and storage. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. Just keep looking at this stuff. Yeah, everybody's going to be in really good shape. I've got enough people, do I? Yeah, I've got... My forestry's coming up pretty good. Let's, um... Let's add... Let's see. Uh, I have two hunters and two gatherers. Let's bump each one of those up. Okay. And how's my guy doing with you? Making beer. For sure. Just pumping out some beer. Where's the beer going? Don't know where the beer is going. I'm just going to keep everything like this. I don't want to. You know, it's tough. You don't want to mess with it too much. I just got a ton of students. You know, I have enough people that somebody needs to start working this. So let's do that. Let's get, let's get, since I have two laborers, let's get people working on Because the orchard's going to take some time just to start producing. here. Oops. I'm going to give you two guys. Let's put my two laborers over there. Good. No, I don't have... If somebody dies, I don't have anybody to replace. 
for laborers, but I think we should be okay. I'm hoping that we're going to get some more kids out of this in a second. Some more students are going to change over. Let me get a drink of coffee here this morning. Oh, much better. Yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I like Banish. I used to play Banish non-stop. It's been a long time since I played it, so uh, my first two, my first two towns didn't work out very well, but we're doing okay now. See to be doing okay. No, these are okay. hearts are coming up, which is good. Alright, so these guys started planting, which is awesome. How many longhorns do I have? 21. These were, you know, it was kind of interesting. These longhorns were... Uh, I couldn't believe how valuable they were. They sold for a much higher rate than... Um, chickens did. So I thought that was kind of interesting. These two guys are looking okay. They're looking pretty good. I've cleaned out their area successfully. So now we're just, it's all about trees. I could stick down another hunting cabin and another gathering hut, but well, actually there's a little bit in here that needs to be cleared out for the gathering. Yeah, let's just get rid of that stone there. Just a little bit of stone right there. Oh, this is looking pretty good, and I think my logs are coming in at a decent rate now. At least I'm staying on top of it. He's at 400. The firewood's okay. The challenge is just going to be the stone and the iron, and I'm not hurting too bad right now, but, you know, to run these mines, it takes a lot of people to run the mine. I think you can have a total of, like, 14 people in the mine. So that's a little tough. Matter of fact, I've got I've got some time here that I can clear out this right here. We've got some people not working right now. Let's turn up the time a little bit. We can go a little bit faster. What's my population looking like? I mean, you don't have anybody in there got some older people. I mean, I've got those several people there could move. There's my older population. It's probably going to wind up dying very soon, to be honest with you. I just got somebody as a laborer. I'm going to leave them as a laborer because I'm, I have an older population that is going to be starting to die off pretty soon. Yeah, the bonus about the orchard is that uh, once it start, stops producing pretty well, you just cut it down, get all that wood, start over again. So it's another nice little source of wood. Let's get rid of this, this storage right here. It'd be nice to, you know, this is kind of misdrawn. I wonder, can I add on to that? Or do I have to redraw the whole thing? Yeah. I can't. I'd have to redraw the whole thing. I don't have another storage anywhere either. Hmm. That's a nice central location. I can take this out. How big is the market? It's 
pretty big. It would wipe out essentially that those nine. Hmm. Well, let's hold off that for a little bit. Got plenty of room to grow out here. Get our town going out that way when we need to. Put some more fields out over here. Food's looking good. Let me actually increase the amount of storage for food. Okay, I have it at 11,000, so we're okay for now. Okay, right. So I lost somebody. Let's get rid of one gatherer, one hunter. Just have those guys on reserve. I said I'm gonna start losing some of my population here very soon. This guy's living by himself. Um, I'd rather not have him living by himself. What if I do the little trick here, which is remove this structure. And then immediately cancel the removal. I'll cancel this removal here. Okay. Oh, he didn't leave. Hey, man. You're supposed to leave. I guess I gotta let it go just like one cycle or two. Okay, there we go. And now, cancel the removal. Oh, he's still in there. Uh, how did I do that before? Okay. Hmm. I don't remember how I did that before. That should have worked. A lot of people having kids. Population's looking really good. I don't think this is going to be ready for harvest yet. This year. I think it's going to have to wait another year. Alright, Sharon. Sharon the Forester. Eviction time. You need to get out. Yeah, I've got a lot of older population that's still childbearing that could be in houses. I don't want a huge population boom, though. It's kind of a little bit of a concern right now. If I make it too big, then I'm going to have a big problem. I'm not going to have enough lumber. I'm not going to have enough... How much does it take to... Move that... Well, I'm going to remove this house, though. So maybe I shouldn't upgrade that to a stone house. I would save on some wood. get rid of this house. I'm going to have him go somewhere else. Alright, got another trade coming in. Hopefully... Oh, I have leghorns. See the di uh, pr uh, difference in price between the leghorns and the chickens? Huge difference. I mean, almost... Um, well, more triple. More than triple. All right, you need to go. I guess I need a builder to remove the house. Hmm. 
Oh, buildings caught fire. Uh, what building has caught fire? And what are all the question marks about? What building's on fire? Oh, forestry building. No, forestry building's on fire. Hmm. What is this? Gathering hut and a forestry log? Hopefully that doesn't burn down my... Oh, man. Hopefully that doesn't burn down the forest. You know what? Let's be proactive here. Where's the well? This is for next time, not for now. Um, let's see. It's the first time I've seen a fire over there. Where's the well at? There we are. Let's put a well over here. Just be smart for next time. And to be smart for next time, let's put a well over here. I don't think these guys can do anything about that. Let's increase the speed a little bit. Hopefully there's something they can do. Yeah, they're running over to the river. Good. All right, well, let's rebuild this. And let's rebuild this. Well, that was exciting. Uh, let's see, I kind of just learned my lesson, so let's make sure that I have a well over here somewhere. Where can I put this well? Yeah, I have a well right here. This is right there, so I mean, we're safe in town. I just want to get something. Let's put it above right here. Oh, maybe on this side. Yep, okay. Alright. Fun and exciting. Oh, we're looking kind of long here. Let's, uh... Still not harp. It's still not yielding any fruits yet. Okay, so where did that old guy go? Do we know? I don't entirely know where he went. Did he go into here? He did. It's not an old guy, it's an old girl, Sharon. I guess she had no place to move to, so she decided to stay there. If I put the market there, I have to get rid of the blacksmith, is that right? Unless I put it right here. And then I've got to move this storage. Mm. I don't mind doing that. I'd rather have the people outside of the middle of the town because most of their jobs are either on this side or on the other side. So who am I actually? Who's actually working these? There's a pathing tool here. So they live there. Yeah, most of those guys live there. If I can put housing around this side, on this back side over here, they can go to their job a little bit faster. I'm also thinking maybe I should get rid of the storage and spread the storage out. Maybe have a storage here. Let's put down a road. box this out so that I know where it's at.
And then, yeah, I, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a storage over there. A little stockpile right here. It's a pretty good size for a stockpile. I'm going to get rid of... Let's see, what stockpile do I want to get rid of? like to replace the houses and put them over here. So let's remove that stockpile right there. Yeah. Good, I got another laborer. Uh, structures being replaced. Who's doing that? Okay, they're all carrying stuff over there to replace it. Good. I don't know if I'm going to have enough wood to replace all of that stuff. We'll find out. Good, so they're transporting this stuff over. All right, well, that concludes this session of Banished. Uh, put a like if you like the series, and uh, please subscribe. We're going to play some more. We're going to try to get my the city up lords up um pretty big we're gonna need to be a little bit smarter by <laughs> putting down uh some prevention stuff all over the place but we're looking pretty good so yeah like i said if you like the uh, series please uh put a like and then subscribe if you enjoy the channel all right we'll see you guys later thanks bye